Shell designs, so it's quite unusual to see it, and it's also sort of a mid price market model, so it's not going to be your sort of top of range, and it's also not going to be low range either. When you look at it, immediately you might think Motorola Razor. That's fine, that's what I thought as well, and that's been a lot, a lot of the ideas have said. But it's actually really nice to use. Nokia is always great, we've got a great layout, they've got a great setup, and this is not dissimilar to that. When you open the phone, um, a couple of lights are shown over here, and they're also customizable, so you can have any colours you want. It's got a 2.2 inch display, which is great just for browsing the different features and looking around and texting, and all of that is really easy and really intuitive. A couple of problems with some of the buttons over here. The menu button there, um, sometimes a little bit tricky between the call button and the select buttons because it's um, a flat keyboard over here with no actually raised buttons, you can sometimes touch the wrong ones. But it's not too bad, really. Um, on the front side, one of the things I really like about this phone is it's got a nice little clock face here. But you've got, also got intuitive media touch controls. Basically, if you see over here, you touch that middle button and it enters a menu, and then using the side button, you scroll up and down through the camera, the music player, the profiles, the stopwatch. You can also customize this, so if you'd rather have your text messages, your images, we'll go to that. Say I want to open the stopwatch, open it there, start, and now it's going. All of this without opening the camera, which I think really good actually. There's another nice feature um, with this, you can also go through and open the camera. And as you can see, it's actually a camera which reflects out, so I can take a picture of myself, which I'm going to do now. and there's also a flash on it. Picture quality isn't the best, it's only a 2 megapixel camera, but I think the ease of use and the fact that you've got it on the front of the camera makes it really easy. And because there's also an internal camera over here, it's really good for video calling, not that anybody actually does that nowadays. There's also a dedicated video um, recorder, which again doesn't take that many frames per second and the quality is a little bit shaky, but it's quite nice to use. The options menu is really easy to go through, you've got options of flash, night mode, Lots of sequence mode, lots of quite impressive features actually for such a poor quality camera, I have to say. So just go into the video mode here, just check what I want, press record. As you can see, very simple to use. The phone's also got internal Bluetooth and it's really simple, simple to navigate. Um, it's, the price is different depending on what contract you have and it's available exclusively at T-Mobile. Nokia have actually had a 6650 in their range before. You might remember long, long ago in 2002, a really basic candy bar phone, but I don't think you're going to surprise it with this nowadays because this is basically totally different. It's also got a nice little mini USB slot over here. We've got a micro SD card slot here just to expand the memory. We've also got all the usual like internal memory web and walk, stuff like that. The phone is really, really equipped for people who tend to use a web and walk function because on the main menu, you can see here the jukebox takes you straight to the internet, maps, straight you straight to the internet, mobile TV, everything really simple. And in the applications folder, as well as a camera and the, rate, the FM radio internally, we've also got a landmark section where you can set up the internal GPS to mark you from your own location to wherever you want to go and you can set up shortcuts and all sorts of really easy things. It's a bit difficult doing it on such a small screen, but you do get the hang of it quite easily. And at the same time, because it's an Nokia interface, you're not really going to press the wrong buttons. Texting is a joy, um, making phone calls is really simple as well, and it does come with polyphonic ringtones, I know, normal nowadays. A couple of things you won't expect, we do have a voice styling option here. It's a little bit shaky and you really need to make sure you're in a quiet background, otherwise you're just going to end up calling your ex and it's going to be horrific. But as a basic Nokia 6650, I have to say, I really quite like this.